the series is a follows two young guys, Ian and Shanky, who, um, like I was at that age, are trying to figure out their place in the world and kind of the weird things they're doing to to get there. What is a diploma? Paper fades. Music is forever. It's interesting, when you cast a series, you kind of have a sense of what the person will be like, and then you find the person, and it really is their role. And they'll ask you how you, they should do it, and I'll go, no, no, how do you want to do it? I play Ian McKay, and he's the son of Lloyd McKay, and uh, he's really got a lot of fire, but not a lot of focus. He's great at uh, getting himself into trouble and trying to talk himself out of it. He walked in, it was just like, oh, no, we have to get this guy on a plane to Toronto tomorrow, uh, to show him, you know, to the executives and my other people, because he just felt like uh, he was the guy. You know, he had the thing I always look for in every role, but certainly in these, in 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 this role of he's funny and he's cute and all that stuff. But he had real soul. So when I first met him, I just I thought, wow, this 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 is going to be our guy. Shinky is the right hand man of Ian. And he starts off as kind of a sidekick, but. He really comes into his own. You find he's got hidden talents, uh, but he's a fighter, you know? While, while Ian is the one who lets his mouth go at certain times, Shanky is the one who backs him up with his, with his bare knuckles and all his training. Like, they're not at really any good at fighting. Oh. Oh. Get that, hey, you're doing great, man. Just hang in there a few more minutes. A few more minutes? Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, you're wearing him out. You can hit him back a bit more, though. I'm trying. Oh. And when I met Atticus, you know, who plays Shanky, kind of the weirder uh, of the two, who uh, he's a pugilist, which means he fights a lot. Um, he, the same thing. I met him uh, at a call in Toronto, and he embodied this thing that was this kind of, um, I'll call it, he, he breathed his own oxygen. Like, he doesn't see the world exactly like other people do. I'm fighting back today. These guys will kill you. No, 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 I'm fighting back against the system. You know, it takes and it takes, but today I found out a way to take back. What? Yeah, it's called the workers' call. The guy who I, who I punch, he was, he was great. He was, very, he was very sweet and really, really gave it when I punched him. Stop. Yeah, I mean, they just said, you know, there's the banner. We have one shot of this. We don't have another banner. Just fall back, see what you do. And so I did it. Apparently it was good. But then we tried to pick up the punch again and then him tackling me. And we did. Mm -hmm. I punched, but they called cut. He didn't hear them call cut. So <laughs> I just turn away for a second. And he just tackles me straight on, head on, as he's supposed to, but just didn't know that they called cut. And sent me into the wings on this stage. And I just went, oh God, oh no, oh no, this, this kind of hurts a little bit. I might be bleeding. And they just went, okay, look at me. And everyone's eyes went wide. And I came out, and the whole auditorium is filled with extras. And so they all see me in my bloody glory. It's going, yeah, baby. It's not all bells and whistles. We get hurt. 